Hello everyone, this is Dave Johnson with Man in the Moon. Uh, I am a channeler and I'm here with the um, you know, lovely lady, Psychic Violetta, who uh, is a psychic there in Canada. So we're working at different sides of the planet, but we're going for the same thing, which is the truth of our visions. And we're here to ask some questions. Some of them are viewer submitted questions about what is going to happen in the near future of our you know, social and political life especially in regards to Donald Trump, since he's causing us so much suffering, <laughs> right? Life so, will be boring without him. You would what? Life will be boring without that's him. That's true, that's true. I mean, one positive is, is that he has given us somebody to be angry at and fight against, so. Um, I never some... went into politics and now I'm living with him. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's always some good side of every bad story. Yes, there's always is a silver lining, right? If only because that are, there are some people who are really coming, coming up right now and um, um, working towards a better place. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and ask my first question. Uh, you know the stock market plunged uh, today, maybe 800 points. So how do you feel about the future of the stock market and the economies of America and the world? I had the, I remember the same question. Question for me. Yes, we all want to know the same things, don't we? <laughs> so what? Uh, complete. Okay. I see two trains. Two wagon of the train. Mm. And they are disconnected. Uh -huh. You can't pull the next wagon if this one is this, uh, it's not connected. Yeah. So it will be really hard. You, you have to spend time. I'm not, uh, you know, in that department, but once I was watching how they connect those uh, push until it's connected and they have to readjust everything moving forward right. and backwards and pushing back, pushing. So it is a gap. Yeah. And if they are not going to fix it, the one train will be stuck. Yes. The one wagon will be stuck or left mm -hmm. and uh, abandoned because mm -hmm. sometimes they leave those wagons. Mm -hmm. So it is something that the smooth wagon train is kind of out of connections. Right, yeah. I mean, to me, it feels like what you're seeing could be, you know, we got the ragon for the really rich people that got all the money for the tax and then there's everybody else. It's not, yeah. it doesn't feel like these things are connected. It is, and it is something that it will make us this way, you know, moving backwards forward because those locomotive has to push the wagons and pull it. And if they are not correct, they can push too hard and the wagon can go a few meters away. And then yeah. the, the guy has to communicate and check how far he pushed, how far he has to go back and move. It's a whole story that probably people, every one of us as a child was probably observing how they are putting those wagons together. Yeah, yeah, good, good, great example. Good, um, so uh, you wanna ask me one? Okay. Okay. Why Trump back out of tariffs with China? Okay. Until Christmas, he said he's not doing any tariffs. That's right. That's right. It's interesting, huh? So, all right. This one's. A, I can really have to push my own opinions out of the way because I have my own idea. <laughs> but, uh, let's just let spirit through here. And see. <clears throat> It's really interesting that image of the wagons because that's actually what I'm seeing now. Um, <laughs> I'm and, sorry, it's easy to implant. Yes, but that's okay. I mean, I think this is really like it's just kind of I'm getting a little bit more and going up, taking your analogy. Maybe we'll find out a little further. Okay, so what I see is your wagons, but there's Trump and he's scratching his head. So I think he is starting to get. Now let me make 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 sure it's not my own opinions, but. I see him standing there, um, he's looking at this, and he's getting worried. 
So Trump, Trump is not really in a position of power here. You know, China can do this for a thousand years. They don't, you know, nobody's, there's not going to be an election, you know, so he is facing an election. And that's what I think he realizes. He already knew the economy is starting to falter and that he better do something. And uh, this is the way that he has tried to solve it. But here's the thing, you know what he's doing? He's taking these two wagons and he's trying to tie a rope around them. <laughs> Like, you know, just a regular rope, like somehow this is going to work if you pull the train and you have the other train not hooked up, but just on some kind of rope. Of course, the rope is going to break because it is not strong enough to carry this economy. So he knows that this is not going well and he's trying to mitigate the disaster that he sees coming. And I have to say, this appears to be a very bad situation. Trump does not have any power. So he's going to lose this battle with China. He, he doesn't have a way to win. And as he becomes more and more desperate, he is going to do crazier and crazier things because he knows that after he's done, you know, with the economy, you know, in the next year, when the next election comes, you know, it looks like he will lose and go to prison. So it, this desperate situation is the worst, it's the worst way to make any kind of deal. It's a disaster. I think he sees it coming. Okay. Yeah. Can I explain something what I will be asking about? Because sure. until Leszek was doing day trading, I didn't know what that is. So uh, day traders, um, as long as they will say, we are going up today or down, and they can win. Yeah. So that they will be like knowing in advance that the stock market will go down uh -huh. and they can buy stock by uh, saying that it will go down, then uh, they can make a lot of money. Yeah. It's not only true. when the stock goes up. That's true. Yeah, that's true. I thought that that's the only way you can make money when yeah. the stock is going up. No. Some people are shortening the stock, that's what yeah. they call this, and they make a lot of money. Yeah. We have a question. Sure. Is Trump a day trading and gaining a lot of money by flip flopping a trade with China. Mm -hmm. Or he does he has a rat hole, which is someone who is that's a nickname for someone who knows the inside mm -hmm. and trading for him. Good question. Oh that's interesting. Let's see. Because we know Trump wants to always gain money for his own pocket. He always, always wants to make a deal. Yeah. So is Trump, is Trump working a scam on the stock market via this crash? No, this is, this is not happening. Look, Trump is not that um, sophisticated. He, um, this is what I see. And I actually, I actually see just a box. And it's very clear and straightforward. It's like you, he, the angles that we see of Trump are the reality. He actually really thinks that um, he could control this politically. He could lower the interest rates. He could manipulate the situation. He also, of course, thinks that he's this genius. So he supposed that putting, he, he, he really believed that he would be able to manipulate the stock market so that it would keep growing. Uh, one thing is that, you know, People who want to get tax you know, rebates for themselves, they always believe in the system that helps them. It doesn't, believe, it doesn't mean the system is correct. I think Trump is totally, um, he is totally unaware even of what he has done and what he's, he, he keeps scratching his head like he doesn't know what he's doing. Okay, <laughs> that's the reason he has implants. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that got that very interesting. He never knew what he was doing. <laughs> well, that hair dye it burns your hair when you're burning it orange, right? I'm dying um, because I'm dying my hair. <laughs> yes, but yours looks good. You know, you don't I'm look so like good, so. you don't look like an oompa loompa, right? You look great. <laughs> I always think, man, you always have great hair. 
Every um, time I see you, I always want to compliment you. Once one lady asked me if it's my natural or if I have a wig, so I'm showing it's <laughs> my natural. Well, me too. It's all real. It's mostly all there, but it's starting to dissipate. So now so, it's your turn to ask me a okay, question. Yeah, my turn. So here's the question. What will happen um, to the people in Hong Kong? Now, I have to tell you, I have special interest in this because I'm going to Japan tomorrow. And yesterday, the airport was closed in Hong Kong, and I have to go through Hong Kong. So if there's oh. another problem. So maybe it's two questions. On Friday, <laughs> and if you find me in, a, uh, in Australia, will the airport in Hong Kong be open? And uh, maybe a le little less selfish, what will happen to people in Hong Kong? <laughs> Okay, so first it will be about Friday. If your journey will be safe through the Hong yeah. Kong We wouldn't see anything on TV. TV is upside down. So if it's nothing on TV, that means that it's nothing going on. Today there was quiet day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the second question was, uh, what, will, what happen will happen in Hong Kong? What will happen to the people in Hong Kong who are fighting for their um, justice? Everywhere on the buildings, there will be someone with civilians and guns. Uh -huh. There will be, I said yesterday to Le um, Le Lena, that it will be a martial law probably eventually. Yeah. Maybe because I went through that. Mm. And uh, so solidarity was dissolved in one day. They put people wow. in the prison, prisons and so on. Mm -hmm. The ar uh, Chinese army is walking there and they yeah. have plans. Yeah. The island is very small and I wish you know those people don't have any guns probably they don't yeah they wanted a nice peaceful resolution yes and it would be worse for them because china will put the grip on them and i see yeah. people like those snipers on the roofs uh, so yeah. i don't see a good uh, you know as long as there will be no manifestation, there will be no blood maybe, but they will be arresting people for sure. Yeah. A yeah. lot of those, yeah. they have access to their cells and they will be, the civilians was working on them for quite a while. So they yeah. know who was sending what messages and who was there. They will know everyone because the technology will be on their side of, of the mm. Chinese government. Uh -huh. Well, and just a comment, there is no leadership from Donald Trump. Not oh, one. That was my question for you. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll go ahead and ask. <laughs> what is USI, what USA should do to protect democracy in Hong Kong? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's funny. It's because I see Elizabeth Warren, you know, what they need to do is have a government that is, you know, believes in democracy and justice and freedom. Um, you know, uh, Trump doesn't care about that. He, he really does not care at all about our constitution, our justice, our freedom. Um, you know, I, as an American, what I find greatly offensive about him is just that he doesn't care about the constitution. You know, he doesn't care about, uh, the, the, the government that we have, which is a free one. I think that one thing is that this is another element. You know, we're seeing change in China. We're seeing people fighting. Um, this is sort of reflection of what's going on in the United States and that there, I feel like that there is a building just as they are building a protest against China, we are sort of building a protest against Trump. Um, I don't think that Trump will do anything. He cannot do anything. He's too involved in his own problems to be able to help. But um, one thing that is good about it is, is that we are seeing this. And as we are seeing this in Puerto Rico, we can kind of learn from them. They don't have any freedoms and they're going to suffer terribly. We do have enough freedom in America that we can peacefully protest. 
Um, and I think that is the, the only thing that we can do is start at home. Uh, American people, um, Donald Trump is not going to do anything about it. And if he doesn't do anything, the Senate's not going to do anything either. So um, really, honestly, I think we have to look at our own, our own justice, our own liberty. And uh, I think that we are moving in that direction. But uh, for a moment, I closed my eyes and I saw Trump stuff with the pile of money in his mouth. Uh -huh. So I think the Chinese will kind of grab him. Yeah. We'll shut up and we will stuff you with the money. Right. We'll make you a deal. We'll make you a deal. Right. So we'll go be... for his private deal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now it's your turn on <laughs> to ask okay. me. Okay. So here's a question for you. Um, will the Senate pass meaningful gun reform? Will they pass any laws to stop this terrible violence? Today uh, in Pennsylvania, six, six policemen were shot. No, I did not know that. No, I um, know because you just woke up. It's, I just woke up, yeah. yeah oh, it's 16 in, in Australia. So I no, I had the same uh, problem with Lena yesterday. She didn't know anything about Hong Kong. Right. So I thought I will wow. update you. Will they, the GOP? Okay, this will be a farce. You remember that picture of Trump driving a truck? Yeah, the tank. Making noise and they will try it to make a noise, a statement, we are doing something, we are driving the forward. It was big nothing. Trump was yeah. just making a picture session with yeah. that truckers pro promising them that they will be going ahead uh, and actually they are paying more taxes than they were paying before mm -hmm. and a lot of people are suffering because of that uh, yeah. uh, the tracking uh, so it will be big photo album taken and a lot of promises if they will do something, I don't know if they will move forward too much because it looks like the truck was, Trump was proud of him that he is driving a big, big truck. Aye. But that was just for show up. Yeah. That was nothing really serious. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. I, I'm sorry that I'm saying, vision, have that vision because I wish I could say that they will do what they supposed to do. Right. Unless Democrats will be in Senate and at House. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I think I, I have to, these guys are expecting me. Hold on one second. So okay, great. that will be a big photo album for, for the Republicans. Unless the Democrats will win the House and Senate, there is nothing really nothing. Big going on forward yeah. too much. Uh-huh. All but, right show us a little bit or oh, I'm driving a truck it's mm -hmm. like me driving a truck yeah <laughs> <laughs> right exactly that's a great example right so uh it's your turn right or mine yes. okay yeah, it's yours uh, I better will put glasses because it's will William Barr be removed from the Epstein investigation oh. for conflict of interest or tempering with evidence so funny. We have the same questions. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you'd imagine maybe we're psychic. We know what we're going to ask each other. So um, oh, we want to be updated with the stories. <laughs> and I have tomorrow funny. morning with Linda G. Comanche and I don't have questions yet for her. <laughs> I'm sure Trump will do so much before tomorrow you will have more questions. Yes. Let's take a look at Barr. Let's see. And is he going to get kicked off? kick out of that investigation, kind of. Mm. Well, I do see senators, and I see senators yelling at Barr, and they're really yelling at him. Uh, you know, um, usually it's these crazy right-wingers like Jordan who do the screaming and the yelling, and, you know, they're just showing off for Fox News. But this time, um, it's the Democrats who seem to be doing 
they're really yelling at him. They're very angry. Um, and I want to see if he's going to um, give it up. I get that they're going to try to stop him. But so here's the thing. He's got a set of keys and they're gold. They're like gold keys. And he's hanging onto the keys. They're trying to pull the keys off, uh, away from him. They're trying and trying to pull the keys. But they're not in entirely successful. Let's see, is that, they're just pulling back and forth. They're pulling back and forth. I don't think so. I mean, in this image, nobody wins. They're pulling, but they, they're not able to stop Barr. They're not able to stop him from uh, running the investigation. And I'm gonna just take a look at a little bit of my spirit. Is there anything more? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I think people are gonna be watching Barr. They're gonna be keeping an eye on him, but he is going to keep as much control as possible. I don't think they're able to get rid of him. And I think that Barr is, it's like, these are the keys and he knows it. If he loses the keys, he will get in trouble. And so will Trump. So he's gonna hold on to them and um, he cannot, you know, only the president can get him out of there legally. I think they cannot make him leave. So um, he's going to stay. Yeah, he's too I valuable to president. Yeah, yeah. He's got the keys in his hand. He's not going to give them up. They, he also knows this is, this is it. If, if the Democrats get the keys, they will expose everything. So he's going to hold on. Okay. Wow. I don't right. have any more questions. Do you have any? Um, maybe I'll ask one more. And that's um, uh, on Ghislaine Maxwell. Yeah, um, what do you see for her? Because I think now, I didn't notice, but I guess she's in hiding. Um, so I guess, are they gonna find her? Well, and is she gonna- Hiding? That's, I, I, maybe I'm wrong, but I think that she's someplace that she cannot be directly contacted. Um, there are some people who think that she is just going to disappear. I mean, she's looking at a lifetime in prison, so that wouldn't surprise me, but I don't know. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe. I yeah. asked yesterday Lina if she will be extradited, and Lina said no, but we will yeah. see what is for Giselle Maxwell. Okay. I didn't um, had any journey to, uh, with in the plane uh, in the train for quite a while, but when I was a uh, young, uh, we had those old trains that you pulled the windows up and down. Yeah, I remember them. And I see her putting her head through the window, and someone is pushing this like a gelatin. Wow. So mm. she will be cut off from the view because it, yeah, it, actually it was the, the window you had to pull it up, but this one I saw like pull it down. Yes. And, yeah, and yeah. her head is stuck and the, the, it's like a gelatin. She will be cut off from the story, so they might kill her, tell her. Wow. Wow, you think, do you, is that your feeling? Do you think they're gonna get rid of her? She's very uncomfortable if they get rid of him. Oh, what is your opinion? Was he taken care of or he helped himself? Epstein, let, let me take a look, because I have, um, I kind of avoided this. Uh, everybody was, everybody was <laughs> reading the process. Why should I read? I don't wanna, I don't I wanna be- I didn't plan it to ask you, but I think it, it, it's right to ask you for that sure. question. What That's is totally your fair. opinion? So did somebody, Spirit, did somebody, did somebody decide Epstein had to go? Hmm. Hmm. It's funny because I'm, I'm actually in a, like an executive office, which makes me think, yeah, somebody decided this. Here's this office. Hmm, yeah. Gosh, is it Bill Barr's office? I don't think it's Bill Barr's office directly, but yeah, somebody decided to get rid of him. Look, if, if they only just created a situation where he could kill himself, 
all they have to do is have some incompetent people watching, put them in a place where they know that they are incompetent and understaffed. Um, that's all they needed to do. Make sure that he is taken off the suicide watch and put in a place where there are sheets. They didn't need to kill him. They just needed to create a situation where he would kill himself. And they knew that he would. And they did this. It was not accidental. Um, you know, whoever was sick that day so that they had to have some replacement, whoever didn't show up, whoever was, you know, very sleepy on that day. And so they gave them that job. That was not an accidental thing. Somebody planned that. Yeah, let me see if there's anything more that we get with Epstein. Mm. Yeah, they knew about it. That was not, I don't, I, I don't get, I see even somebody sitting in a distance and seeing what he's doing and walking away. Yeah. So they just created this perfect situation for him where they knew he would kill himself. Yeah, I have the feeling that it was more than himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is so dark. It's so That's much darker. So dark. um, yeah. We will learn maybe in the future some gossips and so on, but... Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I could just say this. I hate to end on such a bad note, but maybe you could say, maybe you could ask Spirit, what's some advice for people right now? What will help them? I'm going to take a look at you. To think how they can point the, the Ten Commandments into the Trump. You know, those commandments that were, that we're supposed to be living by? <laughs> yes. And that Thou shalt not kill. <laughs> is pointing towards Trump. Yeah. Yes, the Democrats should actually use those all values. He's breaking nearly everyone, every value. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they should actually put, be more about that, how he is uh, lying, how he... Don't kill, I don't know if he's killing, but he is causing people, a lot of farmers to commit a suicide because they are right. so So he is somehow killing those farmers and so on. So. Yeah. yeah, they should actually point towards him the obelisk that is with the command. Right. Yeah, the fundamental values yeah. of the human human people. Okay, that's a good way to end, I think. Well, Violetta, thanks so much. I really enjoyed this, and I'm looking forward to future. It might be a month, because uh, possibly I'll be going to Japan <laughs> tomorrow. But for you, what are you going to do there? Well, I'm going to stay in a monastery and meditate some of the time. Um, I'm going to go visit all those castles. I've never been to Japan, so I'm very curious about this culture. I will be doing videos. So um, I'll be doing a video, hopefully, with some pagodas or monasteries in the background behind me. And I will be uploading them so you can see what I am doing. But mostly I'm going to be relaxing and meditating and traveling. Have the wonderful time over there. Thanks People so are so friendly there, so enjoy yourself. Thanks you very much. Thank you. Take Have care, Violetta. You too, thank you.